Hi everyone, here's a definition for you. A doodle is a drawing made while a person's attention is otherwise occupied. We've all done it. You've sat in a meeting listening to somebody do a presentation on whatever the subject might be. And what are you doing? But scribbling in the corners of the page. Maybe you're filling in the hollows of the H's and the A's and the B's on the words that are on a printed page. Well, nowadays, I have an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil, and I can certainly do some drawing on there and doodle as I'm watching TV. However, I'm not particularly talented in that way, so I've come up with an app that I use that kind of is a substitute, if you will. It's not drawing per se, but it's certainly something I do while I'm watching a movie or something of that type. And I'd like to kind of show you what it is because I found it pretty interesting and it passes the time away and kind of keeps your hands occupied and your mind occupied a little bit as you're watching a movie. So here it is. The app I'm talking about is called Happy Color and it's basically a paint by numbers type of uh, drawing program. Uh, you remember what paint by numbers were like back in the old days when we used to get those kinds of drawings with some oil paints and so on. Only this, of course, is all done on the screen on an iPad or something of that sort. So it's readily available in the Apple App Store. Uh, no idea at all if it's available on the Google side of things. You'll have to check on that. Uh, it's a free download. However, there are ads, so I'm not sure, but I suspect there might be a pay version of it that you know, brings along some additional drawings and gets rid of the ads. But again, that's something we can check into as we go forward. Now, when you go into the app, you'll get a screen that looks a little bit like what you see here right now. Uh, however, this is only a screen capture of one screen that shows up with a dozen or so images. It goes on and on. There are pages and pages and pages of these drawings that you can pick from. Uh, as you notice across the top, you'll see that there are different themes that you can pick, such as Disney, Marvel, Editor's Choice, Rare, Interiors, etc. I keep it on all, and I tend to shut my eyes and scan down through and just put my finger on one of them and pick one at random and see how it goes from there. So going forward here, I'm going to pick the one that's right below the reindeer. There's a bunch of trees and there's some sunflowers and that's the drawing that I was working on when I decided to put this video together. When you select the drawing, it shows up full size on your screen so you can begin to tear it apart and start doing something with it. First thing to note, of course, is the color palette down across the bottom of the screen. Uh, right now on this diagram, it only shows you the first 10 or 11 colors, but you can scroll off to the right, and I've had some drawings that went over 100, and I think about the lowest I've seen was around 50 or 60. And looking at the drawing itself, you'll notice that some of the fairly large areas have the number showing up already, but there's a lot of smaller spaces that you need to to identify what numbers go in there and so on. So to do that, you have to zoom in in order to see uh, what the individual numbers are for the small spaces that you're going to be working with. Now, it's one thing to notice. There are a couple of small spaces in there yet that the number doesn't appear in. So that means that when you select the number that you're going to work with, the shading will show up and you got to find those small areas right up front because if you miss them, they're really hard to find later on because you're looking at a small portion of the drawing and now you have to pan around in order to find where those small spaces are. In this little video screen capture, I selected color number 60 and then went about the task of trying to find all of the 60s that were available to be tagged. Now that's one approach that you can take. At the end of all of the 60s, once I've found all of them, you'll notice that the 60 disappears from the color palette. Then I went on to number 65 and did basically the same thing. 
So there's a couple of approaches you can take here. You can select a number and go looking for all of the available numbers of that type that are around, or you can zero in on a portion of the picture and jump between the numbers in order to fill in a segment of the picture. It's a, diff it's a choice. In this case, I went and picked a number and then went out and found all of the instances of that number that appeared, and once it was done, the number flew off the palette. Once you, you tag the last couple of spaces of the last number on the palette, this, the screen automatically jumps over to this view where it does a kind of time lapse, if you will, of filling in everything. Now, the interesting thing to note about this is it fills everything in in the same sequence that you used when you filled the drawing in as you went along. Now, you'll notice in the sunflower portion of this thing, I used the approach where I picked a color and then went looking for all of the instances of that color before moving on to the next one. When we get up into the trees, you'll see that I switched to a different approach where I developed each of the trees by jumping around between the numbers in order to fill that entire tree in. So you'll notice the trees get created one at a time. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. If you get a chance, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the next one.